What's good, everybody? In my video today, we're going to be looking at factoring and what not to do. So in our problem, we have a lead term that is greater than one. So what we're going to do is use the slip and slide method. But the issue is students sometimes forget to look and check for a GCF. And this problem does have one. So we pull our GCF of three, and now what we're gonna have is two X squared right? But even at this problem now, the issue is our lead term is still not just X squared. So what we need to do now is actually do the multiplication, and once we multiply A and C, we are going to have this what you see. And if anybody's under um, wondering what, why is the three out there, just remember that is our greatest common factor. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay there the whole time. Now, at this step, we have successfully did the slip, right? We multiplied A and C. Now we need to determine, can we factor this now? So we keep our three outside, and this is going to turn out to be x minus 4 times x plus 3. And just remember, guys, when this when c is negative, that means our signs are going to be opposite. Just a key, key reminder. All right, so are we done with this problem? No, no, no. We have to now go back and divide both of our factors by that a term we multiplied by, so 2. So when I go through now and I divide by two, this is how we're going to finish off the problem. So let's take it up here. So if we could divide evenly, guys, we're going to just divide and simplify. So this is going to turn out to X minus two, right? But in the second, the second factor, if we notice, right, we cannot divide three by two and get a whole number. So when that happens, this is what we do. We're going to take that denominator and we're going to put it in front of the variable from the same parentheses. So this is my first factor. Now my second factor is going to be 2x plus 3. And this would be our final answer. Okay. But let's say that we did not take this route. Let's say we made a mistake and we didn't check for our GCF, Mr. Peters, could I still get the same answer? And the, and, the, and the truth is yes. So let's rewrite the problem. And I'm gonna keep this up there so that we can see, see how this all works, okay? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we're going to now just go straight into the slip and slide and multiply. So I will have what you see on the board here. OK, so now we're just trying to break this down. We're looking for the two factors that are going to multiply to give us 108. And when we divide, I'm not sorry, not divide. When we add, it's going to give us a negative three. And we know our signs are going to be opposite. So one's positive, one's negative. So the numbers that we are going to use are going to be positive nine and negative 12. That'll give us the 108 when we multiply, negative 3 when we add. <clears throat> so now, right, we know this is the answer. How are we going to get there, Mr. Peters? I'm glad you guys asked. So we're now going to go through and repeat that step where we divide. So let's divide our factors by 6. That's what we multiplied for in a slip and slide. So at this step here, guys, we're going to reduce. We have x minus 2. And then this one's going to be a little tricky. So since we cannot, since we cannot divide evenly, I'm going to slide this out in front, and we're going to get 6x plus 9. Right? And when you look at these two answers, they're different, right? Yes, they are, but that's because we could simplify this even further. 
what if I pulled out a three, right? What if I simplify by pulling out a three? My answer would be three on the outside, two X plus three. And then we're just going to put this second factor next to it, which is X minus two. So even if you didn't do it like how I did in the first way, guys, we can still get to the same answer. You just have to make sure at the end that we simplify this binomial, okay? So in our last problem, same thing. So when we do slip and slide, A is greater than one. That, that has to be true for us to use it. So now we go through, we have N squared plus five N plus six. So for us to factor this now, we're gonna have N plus two, times n plus three. And at the last step, we just cannot forget to go back and divide by the same exact number we multiplied by. So now, can't divide evenly, we're gonna slide that in front, three n plus two, reduce three over three to one, so now we're gonna get n plus one. So when you guys are working with the slip and slide method, guys, remember these key things, okay? One, leading term has to be greater than one. Two, always check for a greatest common factor before you do the slip and slide method, all right? And then three, just at the end, make sure that you go back and divide by that same number that you divided by. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button for us really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting more people to see our videos and get the help they need. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is Al Jerome with Mr. Peters.